Hey gang, a lot of people ask me, what speed reels do you use? And, and that's a very actually convoluted question. But the way I fish a lot, look, I throw a, a lot of baits on the bottom of the lake. Like, oh, look, right there's a structure jig. I throw a lot of structure jigs, a lot of bull worms. And not only that, I do a lot of frogging. And those are really three obviously different baits. But to me, the most critical thing about those baits is I need to pick up line in a hurry, okay? Even though I'm dragging a jig or I'm fishing a frog really, really slow, when I get that bite, it's the most critical time to move line right before the hook set, right after the hook set. And that's why I choose a Luz Hyperspeed 9.5 to 1. When Luz came out with this, I heard about it being a 9.5 to 1. I said, can I please get that? And here's the best way to describe it if you don't understand speeds of reels is whenever I'm fishing a slow bait, I want a fast reel to where I can get a hook into them and move line. The other thing about that is I remember being with the whole Strike King production crew and we were down on a lake down in Stuttgart, Arkansas, and we were throwing a pad perch. Those are also times where I need to move line in a hurry. Where a lot of people think about baitcast reels is, man, if I'm winding a red eye shad or a spinner bait, I want the highest speed reel that I can get. That's absolutely the opposite. A lot of times when you're winding a bait, you want a six to one reel, maybe a seven to one reel. Just think about it like this. Whenever you're throwing a jig or a worm or a slow topwater bait like a frog, that's when you want the highest speed reel you can get. And that's where a lose hyperspeed comes into play. Just remember that a lot of times the slower you're fishing, the faster the reel you want.